Okay, so we're going to be making spaghetti bolognese today uh, following this recipe here and I don't use everything when I do it. I didn't use uh, bacon, I didn't use um, oregano or oregano, however you say it. Um, I didn't use pepper or basil and I used a different kind of cheese other than parmesan. But there you go. So to start with, I chopped up um, this onion into uh, finely chopped this onion. Uh, the recipe does say uh, for two medium onions, but I had a big onion and I thought um, I'd just use one big onion, but then after I chopped that I thought that's enough, so I actually ended up only using half of a reasonably sized onion. So. So when the onion was finished being chopped, I just put it into a little plate and set it to the side. Next, I grabbed the uh, garlic, which the recipe asked for two cloves of garlic. So I peeled the skin off of those and then used my little uh, contraption that I've got there and um, uh, squeezed that through, uh, grated it, squeezed it through to onto the plate. Then uh, the carrots, so the recipe asked for two carrots and so I peeled those, then uh, washed them and then finally chopped them. So I chopped them uh, into, um, well, chopped it once and it's so uh, three, three times.
and then this celery uh, the recipe asks for two sticks of celery so again cut them cut those uh, twice so nice and uh, nice and small And then I uh, went on to the stove and turned it on to uh, the recipe said a medium to high heat. Put in a healthy amount of olive oil and then um, added in the onions, the carrots and the celery. And then that was to be stirred every so often uh, and the garlic as well. And that was for about seven minutes there on a on a medium to high heat and the recipe said until it was softened or lightly colored after that the meat was added um, I was originally looking for beef when I went to the shop, but all I could see was pork, um, which I like as well, so that's fine. Um, so mix uh, that in, break, break that all up. And then following that would be the two tins of uh, 400 grams of chopped tomatoes. And then the recipe said to fill both empty tins with water and add it to the pan. And then I put a little bit of salt in there. And so that now just needs to be, I turned up the heat a little bit higher and that's just going to come, uh, be brought to the boil. It's starting to boil there and then when that happens, um, turn the heat down a little bit and just let it simmer. And that will be for about an hour, stirring it every now and again. So then I moved on to the spaghetti and I boiled the kettle so that the water was just boiling straight off. Um, put a little bit of salt in there and then uh, add the spaghetti. It was uh, four to 500 grams of spaghetti. So I had a pack of 500 grams. So just took that all in there, broke it and snapped it all in half and then chucked it in. And then spaghetti, you have to keep stirring that every once in a while, make sure it's not sticking. And uh, that would be on, uh, put a little bit more water to uh, make sure that it's covered. And then I'd have that on about a, a medium heat. Just giving the sauce a little bit of uh, stir. And then, um, so at the end there with the sauce, I turned the Turned the heat off the sauce after about an hour and I added a cheese that was a parmesan replacement um, and added about 25 grams of that and mixed it all in and then afterwards got my spaghetti and the sauce and it was served. Uh, my review I would say it was it was all right it wasn't bad I think with the chopped tomatoes after the recipe said to add two tins of that, of water added to that. I thought that was a bit too much. I'll maybe go for one tin. But other than that, it was good. And um, just have to try and improve upon it as we do in life. Mm -hmm.